Hi everyone, let's get right into the reading. Just whatever the cards want to say. So welcome to my channel. As you guys know, I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not resonate with you. Only take it if it resonates. And I appreciate you guys helping me get back in the algorithm. Um, if these are resonating with you, if these storylines do resonate, please like the videos, comment, even just leaving a heart comment really helps me out. And I love hearing your stories too. So thank you guys for engaging. So we've got the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. This is for somebody that's been patient for a long time. Like you've been waiting for love. You might have been single for a long time or you might have just not had many options. Or like no one was really calling out to you. Like you just weren't connecting with people. It feels like you have some good karma coming in. It's almost like, let me see here. Let me see what's going on. The Hanged Man, New Perspective. I feel like you were waiting and you were in stagnant energy for a long time where it's like you were asking yourself, like, why isn't my career moving? Why isn't my love life moving? Why aren't things moving forward for me? Like, what is going on? But it's like you ended that karmic cycle. Because it's like you've been wanting this and I feel like higher thought can be marriage. It can be traditions, you know, society, institutions, but it can also mean marriage. And that's how I'm taking it in this this context um, especially with the Ten of Pentacles here, which is a stable, strong foundation. When we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is like karmic cycles, it's like the wheel turns, whether good or bad. And I feel like in this case, it feels positive. It's like you've been waiting for this for such a long time. And now that karmic wheel is, turn is turning. It's like you've learned your karmic lessons. Whatever was keeping you from this, it might have been a mindset. It might have been a karmic lesson that you had to learn. It could have been multiple things. But whatever it was, I feel like that wheel is turning and you've you've, you've passed the test or you've, um, you've changed your perspective somehow here. I almost feel like you're going very quickly from being in a stagnant energy to the tower, which in, in this case, I'm actually taking the tower as a positive thing. Where it's like overnight change, like your third eye is opening, your... You're just having all this energy just flow through at once. It's almost like a flood where it's like it's been building up and building up and building up. But there's been that one little block that's been keeping you from everything that you want, from the things that you've been trying to manifest. And I feel like you felt very confused because you're like, I'm doing all the manifestation work. I'm doing everything I've you know been led to do. Like, why isn't it? Why aren't my blessings coming in? Like, what did I do wrong? And it's like they were like, you know, you were manifesting. I think it was coming in, but there was that there like a wall. Like I see like a flood and like all this energy you're putting in. And it's like it is there like it, it wasn't even if you even if it didn't come into the physical, it was still there. Like your intentions, your energy, it was still, um, you know, it, it still existed behind the scenes. But there's this wall in the in the, the physical or in your mental state or emotional state. Um, and again, could be a karmic lesson, could be, you know, it's going to be different for everybody, but I feel like that wall has lifted and I feel like, so all the things that you've been, you know, desiring over the years and manifesting and putting that energy into, it's all flowing through at once. And so it's almost going to be like a tower moment, but like a positive tower where it's like, oh, wow, like just out of nowhere, like, like your life just changes quickly. You know what I mean? Where it's like you've been in the same stagnant job and then a month later it's like you you meet someone and everything just flows and you're, you're working your dream job. Or you've been single for a long time and then just out of nowhere you start going out and you, you meet people and, and out of nowhere it's like you find like your life partner. You find someone that you just – it's like very quick, very unexpected changes. Or if this is your energy group, you're not having to wait anymore. You're being guided to kind of just go out and, and live your best life. I feel like these changes are coming in too because you have a new perspective. I feel like your perspective shifted recently. Like you might have started seeing things differently. It's like you got it. Whatever it was, whatever this this wheel turned. But I feel like the wheel turned because of something that you did differently. Does that make sense? It's almost like maybe you were um, waiting for other people to lead you or you're waiting for other people's opinions or waiting on other people to change your life and then it's like you kind of stepped into your power and made these changes yourself 
So it's like, let's say that you wanted a new job, but you were working the same job over and over again. You weren't really moving. It was just very stagnant. And then it's like one day something just clicks and you start applying to new jobs or you go out and meet people and you network and you, you know, it's like, like synchronicities. Like I feel like the world is, is going to get, um, very, like things are going to start flowing. There's just lots of synchronicities where it's like, you're just going to meet people. And before you know it, it's like, you're interviewing for, you know, a job you really want. Or with love, it's like, you've been wanting to meet someone, but you're like, not really going out. You're not leaving the house much. And then suddenly you just feel guided to go new places and you're just kind of living for yourself. And then out of nowhere, it's like you meet new friends or you meet new, uh, you know, a new potential romantic partner. It's like the things that you've been waiting for, money, success, love, all these things, career. I feel like they're finally manifesting and they're manifesting because of you, because you're, it's like there was one final block, there was one final wall, but I feel like you're the one that's recognizing that it's like you're having like an epiphany like an aha moment and that shifts your perspective and that is what clears that that karmic energy up to allow all these the flood to come in all these blessings this this overnight tower these overnight changes i have a pentacles nine of wands the sun yeah, you've been, I feel like you've been, I feel like it's for some of you, this isn't for everybody, but for some, your relationship with money has been kind of bad in the past, where it's almost like you see money as like a battle. You see it as something that's, because five of pentacles can be, well, this could apply to both money and relationships. For some, it's just one. For some, it's both money and relationships. But I feel like you had a lack mentality in the past where you're like, you know, I'm always going to be abandoned. I'm always going to be left out in the cold relationships are it's never going to last for me they're a battle they, they have to be hard uh true love can't you know can't be too easy true you know it, it's like just like this lack mentality of like things have to be hard or I'm not comfortable or it's not like you feel almost used to the drama or you're used to this kind of you're used to things being difficult and you don't know what to do when things are too easy like you don't trust it um, could apply to money as well, where it's like you're trying to manifest money, but you're like, you know, you might have this mentality of like, well, money doesn't grow on trees. Money is hard to come by, like a poverty mindset. And now your relationship, you know, your perspective, your your perspective and your relationship with money and with these other things are are changing. Your, you know, sun is like the most positive card in the deck. It's like clarity, truth, things being revealed your relationship with money is changing where it's like, I think you're still going to save money. You still need to save money and balance things out. But I think that you're not seeing it as like, it's kind of like you're diving in and you're trusting the universe. You're like, you know what? The universe is providing for me. Whereas before it's like you would try to manifest money, but you might've done it from like a state of like, like, like just like that lack mentality, like, you know, money, it's like, it's a struggle, like, like seeing it as a struggle. And it's almost like that energy kind of made it a struggle. It's like it made money hard to come into your life. But I think you I think you're like, it's like you're learning the secrets of the universe here where you're like, you know what, like money is an energy. Money is an energy. So so instead of being in that limited perspective where you're like, okay, I'm going to make money, but it has to be this way. It's going to be through a promotion. And then if I don't get the promotion, then I'm going to be depressed and I'm, I'm going to feel like, you know, I can't manifest money. Instead, you're opening your mind up and you're like, I can manifest money through I could I could find a thousand dollars on the ground tomorrow. I could I could, you know, there's so many different jobs that I haven't even considered that I could work. I could. um, You know, I, I could I could win the lottery, like just not not like unrealistic expectations necessarily, but I just mean like you're seeing money as an energy where you're like, you know what, money could come from any source. I don't have to. It's like you're learning the laws of attraction instead of how you're, you're letting go of um, you're letting go of control issues, basically, you know, like you're being realistic and grounded, but at the same time, letting go of control issues instead of seeing it as like money has to manifest through this avenue. Otherwise, because I don't know what any other way it can manifest. Instead, you're opening your mind up. You're like money could come in from any source at any time. I'm open like you're getting into this higher vibration, this this state of, of things just flowing to you, basically. The Seven of Pentacles and the Moon and the Page of Pentacles. Let's see here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like you're motivated to do the work too. I feel like you've also been asking your spirit guides for something and they wanted you to prove yourself first. Um, this isn't for everybody, but for for like 50% of you at least, I feel like it's like you've been asking for something with like career or some kind of leadership position. And it's almost like it's been like being built and like growing behind the scenes. Like it's it's been coming. It, it's like this person's like looking at their crops or like when it, when is it going to grow? When is when is the fruit going to be produced? But it, it, it is growing, but it's been behind the scenes. So you haven't seen it. So it's almost like. It's almost like you were being called to have faith and they just wanted you to show them that, you know, this is something that you really are going to be committed to, to what you're asking for. They want to make sure you're ready for it. Um, anyway, let's get into another message here about for this energy group. I feel like with this one, I'm kind of just getting random messages here and here, here and there for people, but, but it's good. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get a final message. What do you want to tell me about this? So keep, you know, keep opening your mind up, keep letting go of control issues, keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Um, if you're in this energy group, if this is resonating with you, this is not really a time to wait. This isn't really a time to, this isn't a time to be stagnant, I guess I said, I should say. You've already been stagnant, you've already been in that energy and you're coming out of it now. So this is a time to really listen to your intuition, to where you're spiritually guided, even if it feels crazy. You know, you might be led to like, you might be led to do things that you wouldn't expect. You might be led to travel to new places. You might be led to, uh, I don't know why I'm here and go to a coffee shop. <laughs> Maybe that's for somebody here. Um, sorry, I primarily channel as most of you know, so sometimes I get images or feelings. So when I talk like that without the cards, I'm not rambling. I'm, I'm channeling for you guys and picking up on the energies. But you might be, you're going to be led to step out of your comfort zone. And the more you step out of your comfort zone, the more you're going to be pushed to step out of your comfort zone. It's like you were in this lower timeline and you're coming into a higher timeline. You're coming into a different vibration. And it's what you've been asking the universe for. But it's going to be uncomfortable at times. It's going to be very new and unfamiliar. But I think if you push yourself to, to keep stepping out of your comfort zone, and it'll feel good. Like it, it might feel scary and uncomfortable at times, but it's going to feel good overall. It's going to feel like this very flowing, open, just free spirited energy where it's like this new perspective is coming in. That's just going to bring you so much peace. And you're already tuning into that perspective. It's just a matter of nurturing that perspective and being willing to be brave and continue on that path, continuing to step out of your comfort zone, you know? And for some of you too, it's it's like, I feel like, I feel like some of you have been in limbo and that's, I think that's where the uncomfortable part comes in because when you're in that limbo, there's like these three different states that I see. There's, there's the lower state that you've been in and it's not, it's not lower. It's not, it's not ones, you know, they're all different. There's different paths. There's no, I, I don't feel like there's any one right path. There's so many different perspectives out there. And everyone wants some kind of universal truth. And then the reality is there's not very many universal truths out there. Everyone's path is different. Everyone, you know, what realm you come from, uh, your, your past lives, your current life experience, what works for some doesn't work for others. Like everyone's path is different. You know what I mean? Like what, so, so you can't really, I mean, you have to kind of take everyone's, be, be open-minded and, and learn from other people and, and take everyone's you know, experiences and their opinions into account to a degree, but you still have to find your own path, you know? Like a lot of people really resonate with uh, like positive thinking, positive vibes. I've never been that person, but it works great for some. It works, you know, they manifest with that. I personally don't. I'm more of a, I merge more dark and light energies. I work best with, you know, passion, emotion, chaos, um, I'm more of like a fairy spirit. So my my energies are different. So it's like, you know, everybody, you have to find your own unique path. You really, really do. You have to go down your, um, I'm wearing that Fleetwood Mac song, Go Your Own Way. <laughs> but anyway, sorry, getting on, on a tangent there. But I feel like for some, it's like you might be a little bit scared because you're in limbo. And so you're not seeing it manifest yet because it's manifesting behind the scenes. So it's like you're taking these leaps of faith. 
And it's not like a reckless leap of faith. It's just, it's just, again, getting out of your comfort zone. But some of you are a little freaked out because it's like you're, you're, you're not in that vibe, that, uh, that same timeline that you were in anymore. You're in, so you're going up and you're kind of in this like limbo state is what I'm seeing here where it's like, maybe you cut a lot of friends or people out of your life, or maybe you, um, you're not resonating with what you used to resonate with. You're not resonating with the same like friendships that you used to resonate or the same job that you used to resonate with or the same, uh, you know, romantic types or whatever it might be. It could be different for everybody. But some of you are in that limbo state where you're like, like you're kind of uncomfortable right now because you're in that in between where, you know, you've, you've taken that leap of faith and you've stepped out of that energy and you're not resonating with those people anymore. But for some, it almost feels lonely. It's like, well, like what comes next? Like you're just out. It's kind of like you're out in an open field, you know, or blindfolded where it's like you have, you know, the, the, your manifestations are still starting to come into the physical. They've, they're in the astral realm in the higher realms. It's like, they're already being built up. They're already coming into fruition, but it's, it's like things manifest, things uh, occur in the astral realm, like in the higher realms before they manifest in the physical. So right now that's what's happening is all of your manifestations haven't yet physically manifested, but they do exist. They do exist, exist in the, the higher realms. I hope that makes sense to you guys. But yeah, it's like you're in limbo and you're like, okay, I'm not resonating with these people anymore, but now I feel alone and I feel confused. And it's like, well, well, well where do I go next? What comes next? But you're, you know, you're just, again, it, it's like, it's coming in. It's like, you're, you know, keep, keep stepping out of your comfort zone. Keep being in that high vibration of, um, you know, letting go of control issues and, and letting things flow and really being brave and doing the things that you want to do. Like I said, this isn't a time to sit around and be stagnant. This is a time to live your life. This is a time to, if you feel called to travel, go travel. If you feel called to go to new places, do that. If you feel called to say certain things to people, like say them, you know what I mean? Like really let your spirit guides guide you here. But yeah, the, the limbo part, when you're in that in between, when you're letting go of the old life, but you haven't yet fully manifested the new life yet either. And you're just kind of in between where you're like, well, like it's just all very new to you. It's like that tower moment. It's like, just, just trust the process and keep, um, you know, again, keep stepping out of your comfort zone and you're going to start, you know, getting into that. You're going to start seeing more and more physical, uh, like results of your manifestations of what you've been asking for. And one way that, um, one way that synchronicities work is you have, sometimes you'll meet Sometimes you'll see things um, that, how do I explain this? Sorry. <laughs> in my opinion, I feel like you can interpret what's going on around you the same way that you can interpret a dream. The universe, is, the world is full of symbols. You might overhear a conversation and it, it's, it applies to, to you. Or there's just like synchronicities, there's numbers, there's, you know, the world is just like this forest of symbols. And one thing I've noticed with like the law of attraction and like synchronicities, sometimes a lot of times you you will meet um, representations or you will see representations of what you're manifesting before you get the actual thing. So let's say you're trying to manifest a new job. You, um, you might apply to a few jobs that are kind of what you're looking for. And then, you know, a couple months later, bam, you find the right job. That's just everything you've been wanting. You know what I mean? It's just like everything that you've um, been trying to manifest. So it's, it's not that you were being rejected from those old jobs. It was just you were kind of getting a taste of it. It was kind of like those physical, man, it, like, you know, what you've been manifesting was starting to come into the physical. It was almost like a stepping stone, like, or maybe not even a stepping stone as much as like a synchronicity where it's like that energy is coming into the physical. You know what I mean? So you're seeing like these little jobs that like, you know, maybe there's potential there. And then like, bam, you get the big job that you've been wanting. Or like with love, it's like maybe you're manifesting like, you know, a certain type of person or you're manifesting someone that's really compatible with you. And then you meet new people that are, um, you know, have qualities that you're looking for, but you know that it's not your person. And that's why you have to be careful too to use discernment, because especially if you're in that energy of like, you know, desperation, you might just latch on to the first person that comes around and then you end up disappointed because you're like, well, this isn't, this isn't actually for me. But you might, you know, a lot of you might have those synchronicities where it's like you, 
have you guys noticed that it's like you're either really alone or like you have all these people wanting to date you at once like, like you know what i mean it's like it's those synchronicities so it's like if you're manifesting new love you might see these little signs of um you know just people coming into your life that are kind of like representations of what you're wanting to manifest like you want someone that's that's loyal that's intelligent that's empathetic that's uh, brave that's strong you know you're going to meet people like that you're going to have conversations with people like that or or notice uh, those qualities in friends and whatnot it's like it's, it's part of you know the synchronicity is the law of attraction that state of just flow where it's like the universe is kind of showing you too that you're on the right path and that you know that that is coming into the physical so it's like go with those synchronicities like kind of change your perspective and and you know eventually it's, it's like eventually you meet the person that you are trying to manifest but you might meet a few people that again are just representations of that at first so you have to use your discernment to know which is the actual like right one you know okay let's wrap it up any final messages Your person could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius as well. We've got King of Wands and Four of Wands. So it's like moving things from rough waters to calmer waters because someone's had some kind of epiphany and moving things to a Ten of Cups. Why the King of Swords? Someone, there's someone, and this is like a random message for someone, but there's someone in your life that's tired of being the King of Swords. They want to end that. They know that being the King of Swords only leads them to pain. And they're kind of, they're kind of bored with their life. They want fun and happiness and celebration again. So I almost feel like, I feel like when you get on this path too, um, as you flow, as you go, it's, it's like you're going to be making the world your oyster. You're going to see all these synchronicities and I feel like you have, you know, not only new people coming in, but you have someone from the past coming back as well that's wanting to kind of join you on these adventures. So it's going to be up to you if you want to give this past person a chance. If they're really making the effort and showing you that they're willing to let go of that King of Swords energy and really, you know, live their life with you and, and, and have fun and be adventurous and be brave and be open and vulnerable and honest. But you have someone that's going to be inspired by you, basically. They're going to, you're going to be, um, some of you are like meant to be leaders and that's kind of where, where you've been going wrong, where you've been followers. Um, and so you're going to step into more of a leadership role. It's like, you're asking other people, it's like, you're asking other people what to do. Like, where do I go next? What do I do next? Like what comes next? And people are asking you the same things. People are looking to you for that advice. So it's finding that balance. It's, you know, you're stepping first, a lot of you are stepping into a leadership role and you're taking your, you know, taking your power back and manifesting what you want. And again, just, it's going to feel good because you're going to be letting go of control issues. So it's going to be almost like fun and exciting in a way where it's like, there's, you're going to, you're, you're going to know, you're going to know you're on that vibration because it's like, you're going to see all these synchronicities, all these, it's like your third eye is going to be open. You're going to see the synchronicities things are just going to be flowing to you naturally. It's it's like you're just going to be like things are just going to be moving, you know what I mean? Like you know, like have you have you guys ever traveled? Like you know what that vibration is like where you're just in this very spiritual, just free-spirited kind of open energy where you're just it's like you're seeing things from like like you're in this higher vibration, this higher perspective. Um and it doesn't it's not positive vibes. It's not it's it's not in my opinion, it's not that. It's not like positive vibes only because, I mean, me personally, I feel like the positive vibes only mentality is actually kind of a low vibrational energy because you're, it's, it's stagnant and it's controlled and people in that vibration of like positive vibes only. And again, it works for some, which is fine, you know, but to me personally, I feel like it's a low vibrational energy for me at least, or for, for many people that resonate with my, with my channel. Um, because it's like putting a bandaid on it. It's stagnant energy when you're in that state of, of, you know, you're not, you're not allowing yourself to be human or to be vulnerable. It's like, I have to be positive all the time. I can't feel sadness. I can't feel anger. I just have to be positive all the time. It's, it's like, there's no flow. Like, you know, the human experience, human emotions don't work that way. 
you know, there's there's all the different seasons. It's like it, it doesn't work to just be positive all the time. And so it, it almost creates this stagnant energy because it's like a control issue. It seems very happy and very good on the surface, but deep down it's like a control issue. It's putting a, a Band-Aid on deeper issues, on deeper traumas. Um, and in my opinion, if you're not allowing yourself to feel the full spectrum of human emotion, you know, happiness, joy, sadness, anger, you know, whatever you feel naturally, it, it's like you're going to create a stagnant energy, you know, nature, think about nature, think about, you know, being out in the woods, it doesn't, it doesn't vibe with, you know, positive vibes only nature isn't positive only it's nature is nature just is it's it's good it's bad it's light it's dark there's all these different energies and it just flows naturally you know that personally for me at least like that state of just flow of of merging the darkness and light the good and the bad um has always worked best for me i'm a very passionate person uh so i i feel like i feel like many of you are being guided to let go of those control issues and just you know, feel whatever it is that you feel. And, and again, um, it's not like, it's not about positive or negative. It's just, it's just flowing. It's just being who you truly are. Like, think about it. Who are you truly on a soul level? What resonates with you? And it's one of those things where you can't, I mean, you can, I feel like other people can teach you to a degree, but you still have to look inside yourself to decide who you are because you might be completely different than the people around you. And that's okay you know, a lot of you are shifting out of that. Um, like I said, you're not resonating with that anymore. So, and it's a beautiful thing because you're being true to yourself. Instead of trying to change yourself for your environment, for the people around you, you're changing your environment. Instead, you're changing the people around you to resonate with who you really are. And that's not to say not to work on yourself if you're doing something toxic, that's different. But but you're being true to the things that truly resonate with you. I think you're being true to those things. Like you're you're becoming more of yourself basically um, and just feeling whatever it is that you feel. So, so again, yeah, it's, it's like, I feel like, you know, sort of stepping into a leadership position here is what I'm feeling where it's like, you've been looking to other people for answers and now you're stepping into, it's kind of like you're embracing that leadership position. That's the energy I'm getting here. And I feel like with yourself more than anything, it's not, it's not just, I think it's, think it's, it's like you're, you're stepping into a leadership position in your own life. It's not so much about other people. It's, it's more about stepping into that leadership position in your own life where you're not, you're not looking for validation. You're not asking people, you know, their opinions and, and letting their opinions run their, when you run your life or anything like that. You're, you're stepping into a leadership position and, and basically like becoming who you want to be. Um, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone and, and going with your intuition and doing what feels right to you, even if other people don't resonate with it. And I think eventually you will be led to be a leader in the community as well, if you're not already, but I feel like that's going to be one of those things where you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to learn to, it's kind of like you have to find that balance because you have to make sure that you're getting the energy that you need, that you're getting so that you're that you're getting the support and love that you need that it's mutual and that people aren't just using you for that energy you know what I mean it's like it's like you're gonna learn to be a leader in the community but you're gonna be taught to protect yourself and shield your energy first and not just give that energy away to psychic vampire types all the time you know healers need healing and so I think you're one of those healers that's going to be healed first and then you're going to lead you're going to be helping other healers heal as well and they're going to be helping you heal as well there's like a mutual energy exchange mutual support um I mean it'll make sense as time goes by but anyway I'm going to put this out there I hope this resonates with you guys